Mom? Yes, it is. Call me what? No, 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 no. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Kobe Jones Willis. Got it. Okay. What are you doing here? I didn't see your broom parked outside. Oh, no. This is a bad idea. You need to stand up to this wannabe. Wannabe? All right, have and have not fans. Hope everyone's doing well after that interesting finale. So make sure you like the video, hit subscribe, click the bell icon and allow all notifications. That way you know when I post content to the channel and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Oh, also, thanks. We are less than 2,000 people away from 150,000 subscribers. Maybe I need to change the goal post for the end of the year. Like, uh, we should be hitting 149 pretty soon. So, thanks so much for that. But, um, yeah, so Colby, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce the full name with the tongue thing. I can't do it. He essentially put himself on Veronica's hit list. I mean, Jeffrey tried to warn him, but to be fair, Veronica probably would have found out anyway basically gave the entire name and now veronica as she said got what she wanted so the big question is what's going to happen to colby he's probably either going to die or end up like justin i mean veronica being veronica she will figure out something to get back at colby colby doesn't give a damn he welcomes the danger but probably not when it really happens and it's sad because of the fact that him kicking Tanner's ass was awesome, but now we're probably going to see him get beaten up and that's not going to be so awesome. But to be fair, we cheered for Colby because he was literally about to be harmed just for being gay. But in this case, it's Veronica retaliating because think about it this way. Justin hit Veronica and then we saw what, you know, she had done to him. Colby didn't hit veronica but at the same time was indeed trespassing indecent exposure and the list goes on so whatever happens to him i'm not saying he deserves to be ganged up on and beaten and whatnot but he poked the bear and he's literally going to pay for it whether he knows it or not so it definitely seems like one of the setup things from the finale where Veronica is going to set up or arrange for Colby to be dealt with. And then on top of that, we have the situation of, you know, Madison being, I, I forgot to mention this in my review, but Madison in the last episode saying, don't ever do anything like that again. Um, excuse me. Jeffrey knows not to do that, but he still went over there anyway. And it's like, you weren't the one shot at. So I don't really see why you're upset. But at the end of the day, it's like, I really don't see why the character was added. Colby has had maybe two or three moments where I'm like, okay, this dude's actually likable in regards to his demeanor. But I do feel like people do make valid points where it's like Tyler writing the overly sexualized gay characters as too much of a stereotype. And it just comes across as unnecessary. So... Do you think Veronica is going to get revenge on Colby? I mean, as she said, she got what she needed and that was the name. And then she just happened to leave. I'm thinking with the mask and um, gloves, she was looking for fingerprints and whatnot. But no, she just wanted to know who was responsible for the girls in the pool. And now that she knows, it ain't going to end up too good. So with that being said, make sure if you haven't done so already, um, like the video and subscribe, as I mentioned before. And if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal, Cash App, or join my Patreon for as little as $1 a month.